Hey everyone, I've got my July Birchbox here and this month Birchbox has teamed up with Glamour Magazine so we've got a box that is supposed to incorporate all of the senses and that is what the box looks like. So we've got see it, hear it, taste it, touch it, and smell it. I love these little wrappers on the box and I love when Birchbox teams up because they've had some pretty amazing collaborations in the past. So let's see what we got this month. So here's what the box looks like and the card just tells us that July's theme is the five senses and that they've teamed up with Glamour Magazine. And on the back you've got a little description of everything that's inside the box. And this month, next to the products, there are little icons, like there's a hand, eyes, nose, and ears. So they tell you how each of the products correlates with the five senses. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got. I like the blue tissue paper this month. And that's what we have inside. So this box did feel kind of light when I took it out, so I could hear a lot of movement in there, and now I see why. It's pretty empty. But the first thing that I am seeing is the extra in the box. So let me open these so These are earbuds. These are for your sense of hearing, and this has a pretty neat electric blue cord to it, little pink earbuds. So this is nice. This is always good to have an extra pair of earbuds. I was just looking to see if it had like the mic on it, but alas, no mic. Just a simple pair of earbuds, but pretty cute. And I like this because all my running stuff is neon colors, so I like to stand out. These are pretty cool. They're going to match my stuff. I have a sample from Mana Kadar. This is Sheer Glow Shimmer Lotion. And according to the card, this is Sight. So this is an illuminating lotion. And that's what the sample looks like. Which initially, when I picked this up, I thought it was a perfume sample just because it's in the little foldy cardboard envelope, but that's what the little guy looks like. And basically, this just gives you some incandescent glow. It says you can mix it with your foundation or wear it alone. So I thought maybe the sample was a little bit small at first, but if it's just an illuminator, I guess a little bit goes a long way. Next thing I have in the box is this lipstick from Laura Geller which I love Laura Geller products. I've been getting so many of them through Birchbox, so I know that they're really awesome products. And this is a two-toned lipstick, or I believe it's called Double Dip Lipstick. Yes, Double Dip Lipstick. This one's in the color Caribbean Kiss. And both of the sides are a rosy kind of color, but this one's a little bit lighter. And then on this side, it seems to be a little bit more on the bronzy side. So. I have not seen lipstick like this since I was a teenager. I remember Bonnie Bell came out with two-tone lipsticks when I was like 13 and they had all these crazy colors so that's what this reminds me of. But I do like the color on this. Both shades look very wearable and pretty so I've never used a lipstick like this recently I guess. Let me know what you guys think of it. How would you wear this and what would you do with it? The card kind of says you can mix both the colors or wear them alone. Next I have my little packet here, which is in this fun neon green paper this month. So let's see what's in here. Whoa, there's like a handful of samples in here. So this is the Live in Love Oscar de la Renta Eau de Parfum. So this is for the sense of smell. So let's see. Oh, it's that stopper. You guys know I hate that. Oh, stinky. Let's see. Ooh, it's very light and pretty. The card says that it is a blend of floral, hyacinth, and orchid over a rich base of sandalwood and cedar. That's really pretty. I like this perfume more than the last couple of samples I've been receiving from Birchbox. I feel like I would wear this and it smells light enough to kind of carry off in the summer, daytime or nighttime, but very pretty. I like that. Last thing I have in the box are these sample packets of fresh soy face cleanser, which I am not really pleased about the way this is presented. I feel like if you send me three samples like this, why couldn't you put them in a little plastic tube at least to make it look like it's a little bit more substantial? I was really disappointed when I saw the way this was kind of scent, but soy fresh face cleanser is supposed to be for the sense of touch for the five senses correlation there and it's a gel cleanser so it's good at removing your makeup. I've actually never tried this before and I love fresh products but like I said a little disappointed in the way this was sent but I mean I'll still use it. 
that was everything that was in my box this month. And to be totally honest with you guys, I'm disappointed overall. I just expected more. I feel like my samples are really small this month. And even though I still feel like I got my $10 value, I'm not wowed at all. I'm just like, oh. And I'm disappointed. I wish that there was a little bit more to it since it was a Glamour Magazine collaboration. And hello, where is my taste? Where's my tasty treat? I just watched like other people's birch boxes and they were getting little scrum diddly umptious bars and things to eat and I have nothing to eat. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Usually birch box is great, but this month was not great. So let me know what you guys got in your boxes. I have watched a couple of other videos, so I was expecting more out of it. And I've seen some people get some great stuff this month. So leave me a video response or a comment. Let me know what you got. What did you think about my box? And um, yeah, I guess that's it for this month. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.